Hello everyone, I'm Robert Kemeny with Network Consulting Services Incorporated. You can find us on the web at ncsi.us. Uh, today I want to talk to you about getting an Imperva agent installed on your database server so that you can monitor uh, database traffic. Uh, here you can see in my console on my management server that I have a couple of agents already installed. We're going to go ahead and run through an installation of an additional agent to show you what that's like. So I've gone ahead and remoted into my server and I've downloaded the Imperva agent from the FTP site. Uh, there'll be an agent corresponding to your particular OS and, and version. Go ahead and download that and then we'll go ahead and run through an install of this particular agent. So it's going to pick a directory in which you can install it. You can change it. This is the default. It'll hang out in the program files in an Imperva directory. Uh, once we do a quick installation of that executable, we're going to get a quick registration wizard to get our agent registered to our gateway. So I'm going to go ahead and select that quick configuration. And I want to monitor the database traffic. So I'll select true for that one. At this point, I'm not interested in monitoring file traffic. I'll choose no. I'm not interested in monitoring SharePoint traffic either. So I'll pick no there. Uh, I don't want to do directory services at this point either. Again, a false. So we need to enter in an agent name. Uh, best practice is to have it be the host name so that when you're in the management console, you can know which agent is installed where. I'm going to go ahead and give that a name here in my environment. Hit enter. Uh, it's going to ask for an IP address of our gateway for our particular architecture. So I'll put that in. And then it wants to know if we want to monitor just local traffic or local and external traffic uh, to, the, to this particular host. I'm going to pick both there. Uh, once we press continue, it'll be prompted for the Imperva user's password to go ahead and connect to your gateway. Let's see if I can get that right. Try one more time there. It says it was successfully registered to the gateway, so we're going to go ahead and continue. It's going to ask if I want to go ahead and start that new service that's been installed. I'll click yes for that to register. It'll take just one minute to complete, and it'll give us a, a close window on our uh, installation there. Uh, next, we want to run through the uh, installation manager so that we can update this agent uh, from the console in, uh, in further upgrades or new versions of that agent. So we'll go ahead and just run through that same kind of menu, the, the install, the directory location. And once we get our um, dialog box up here in the command prompt, we're going to pick one for that quick registration. Uh, it's going to ask if we'd like to use the previous answers from our remote agent installation. And in this case, we are. So we'll click yes there. And it'll grab that information and uh, uh, go ahead and put it into our answer file here. Uh, it's going to ask for a location of the Agent Installation Manager packages. So all those upgrade packages, they need a, a place to reside. In this case, we're going to leave it as the, the default directory, which is in that uh, Imperva folder. Uh, it's going to ask how much uh, space we want to dedicate to that folder. So if we have a system that maybe has a little bit less resources, we can trim that down a little bit. I'm going to allow a gig here. And then it'll go ahead and register to the gateway as well. That'll take just one moment. And then it's going to ask if we want to start that installation manager, and we're going to click yes. <clears throat> Once that's done, we now have this new service that's running. If we wanted to look in the, the services menu, that's our remote agent. But we're going to go ahead and come back to our uh, management console, do a refresh there. And we'll notice that now we have this new uh, agent that has come in and can now be configured in our management console. Um, it's very important that you remember that under the settings you have some uh, advanced configuration defaults that need to be in there for the agent to act normally. Um, and then uh, once that starts passing through traffic, we'll be able to do some, some audit and security policies on that agent. Uh, it's just that simple. Uh, thanks for watching.